These dark days call for crimson nights. So when the sun sets, the crimson moon rises. These dark days call for crimson nights. So when the sun sets, the crimson moon rises. What's up, Crimson Knights? Good to see everybody. Um, is it just me, or does my intro video keep showing like twice? I, I think it is, and I don't know why that keeps happening. So we gotta get that figured out. Oh man, I was looking tonight. I was looking at uh, Cyber Power PC. Every so often, I just take a look, and I'm like, oh man, I, I want to get another. Because I, I have my nice cyber cyber power crimson PC. High powered gaming PC. I love it. But I'm thinking sooner than later I may need to get a second PC to replace this old this old bucket. I got like the Millennium Falcon. You know, it's getting me through. But uh There are much faster sleeker, more updated, more agile PCs that I could have for my streaming. So, uh, anyway. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I'll get to Leah's comments in a second, but welcome to Latrice, welcome to Dogpool, and welcome, of course, to Leah. Sabi Sashi, welcome, welcome. Good to see everybody. Thank you for being here over on YouTube. And if there's anybody in Twitch, say hi, drop a like. Well, you can't drop a like, but you can drop a follow, right? I don't think you can like things on, right? You can't like the stream on Twitch, right? I don't know. Maybe you can. I, I've forgotten. But Dogpool said Crimson been doing the same thing, LMAO. You looking at uh, other PCs? But why are you looking at other PCs? Because you just got a gaming PC and you don't stream, right? So I've got a two PC setup. I still love my gaming PC that I got a couple, what was it? Like a year and a half ago now? How long have I had this thing? I love it though. I mean, it's it's doing great for me. No complaints whatsoever. Um, I just I need a second one to replace this thing for the streaming side of stuff. So that's why I'm looking at it. But then it's like, man, am I gonna drop like you know fifteen hundred, two thousand? Dogpool said, well, yeah, but mine was a 3070, and I'd like to go get a full high-end PC. Okay. I only got this one to start out and test out PC gaming from console. Oh, okay, I got you. So you didn't fully trick it out. See, I, I put a lot of money into my PC, and I, I like it a lot. Here's the specs of it, in case anybody's wondering. Cyberpower PC, I, I like it. I'm really happy with uh, the products that they have, the selection that they have, the options, the customizations, the sales, the pricing. You know, they build it for you, so it's good stuff. Again, welcome, welcome, everybody. Streamlabs, where are you? Are you responding to me? Are you responding to my commands in chat? Dang. Streamlabs is like not, you know, there should be, it should be showing us stuff here. Chat should be over here. Recent events up here. We got none of it. And Streamlabs also isn't showing up in... Like what is, what is going on here? Is it turned off? It's freaking turned off. All right. I guess it wasn't turned off in the last stream though, right? Like people were redeeming stuff. It, 
Streamlabs was working in the last stream, I think. There we go. That's my PC, and I love it. Said, yeah, you did way more than me. I only spent like 2K for everything PC, desk, and monitor. I mean, 2K is still a lot. But yeah, I put, I put a lot into it. Anyways, if you get something new, Dogpool, let me know what you end up going with, man. It seem, I mean, they've always got good sales going on, which is almost like not having a sale. If you've always got good sales, it's kind of like it's not really a sale. You just are saying it's a sale, but I, what, whatever, whatever. The prices are competitive. That's what matters, right? All right, going back. Excuse me. Before the stream started, Leah had a lot to share. So let's go back, said, hey, Crimson and everyone, how's everybody doing? First of all, things have not been all that well, unfortunately. My little nephew, who's a year and a half, was rushed into the emergency room last week with severely severe dehydration. They had to put multiple IVs in him. He's really, really sick, vomiting uncontrollably. Everything that you can think of was happening to him. A baby at a year and a half old. So was he dehydrated because he was vomiting? What, what was going on with him? Is he okay now? Certainly keep him, you know, in our thoughts and prayers. But uh, if this was, you said... He was rushing to the emergency room last week. So how is he now? Is he okay now? Or is he in the hospital? Or what's going on? Let us know what's going on with him now. But yeah, that's scary, man. I will say... Probably the most scared I have ever been in my life was the Crimson Wife. She was out of the country and uh, the youngest Crimson kid was like, I don't know, six months old. I, I don't know how old we do. He, he was a baby, all right? So she was out of the country. I mean, she is gone, right? And my youngest crimson kid the youngest son he i put him to bed and he was like fine and then all of a sudden he just woke up with this crazy just scary weird cough and i like go over to him in his crib and like it just seemed like i i wasn't sure if his airway was closing and like he wasn't breathing um i it, it was scary i didn't know what was going on with him because he he was fine like a second ago you know and then he wakes up like 30 minutes later and he's just got this crazy cough like i've never heard anything like it before and uh just i i was afraid that he wasn't really breathing well so i literally Fortunately, we had a housemate at the time, like a renter in our house, and I just told her, like, I'm going to the hospital. You know, here's the baby monitor for the other Crimson Kid. I picked up the youngest Crimson Kid, ran to the car, and, like, peeled out and just drove him to the emergency room and, like, picked him up, ran into the emergency room, and spent the night in the hospital with him. Um, but that was just so scary. You know, like... Anyway. Obviously, he's okay. You know, it all it all worked out. But that was probably the scariest moment of my whole life. When you got a little helpless baby, you know, struggling with something like that. I mean, that is... That's really scary. So, anyway. Let us know, Leah. <clears throat> She said they just got him out the day before yesterday. He's been cutting teeth and he's been in teeth that's been cutting, not came out the right way. So he's just been really, really sick. Okay. Well, glad that he's been released. And I hope that uh, he continues to get things worked out and feel better. But thank you for sharing, Leah. You know, it's great to have a crimson night community like this that cares about each other and you know obviously we enjoy games 
we enjoy playing games together and watching games and, and doing all kinds of stuff like that. But uh, we also like having real talk and, and caring about what's going on with one another and supporting each other in our lives and our pursuits. So thank you for sharing, Leah. And uh, glad that you feel comfortable and safe. And um, yeah, just wanting... Glad this is a place where you want to share that kind of stuff. So appreciate appreciate you sharing that kind of stuff with us. Latrice said it did play twice. Yeah, my my intro. I don't know why it keeps playing twice. It's not programmed that way. After this stream, I'm gonna restart the Crimson PC again, and then I'm just gonna go to bed because it literally takes this thing an hour to restart. I'm not gonna stay up for it, but I'm just gonna restart it again and see if we can't get things working a little better after the next restart. Sabi confirmed you cannot like streams on Twitch. You can only follow the channel. So do that over on Twitch. Make sure to follow and over on YouTube. Make sure to like, subscribe, and join the channel. So I was at Crimson for me. My scariest moment was to watch my mom suffer from an infection, like a near-death situation. It was insane. I was panicking. The most experience, the most fear I've experienced up to that time. Yeah, Sabi, that's, uh, I mean, that's crazy too, you know? Jeez. Again, glad, uh, glad that worked out in the end, but that can be really scary to go through. Maddie said, Sixers versus Heat ending soon. Yeah, so what do, what do we got going on right here? Sixers versus Heat ending soon? Is it already over? No, it's still going. The Sixers are up by three with 36 seconds left in the game. Now, this is the play-in tournament. So whoever wins this game goes to the playoffs, right? Whoever wins this game goes straight to the playoffs, right? And then the loser of this game will play the winner of the Bulls and who? Chicago Bulls and Atlanta. I should pay more attention. Sixers is, you know, my current city Phillies team. But man, they're like struggling to even get into the playoffs right now. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, they're, they're currently in the lead, so they could make it. Latrice said, one scariest moment was when Jeremiah fell down the stairs and our dad said he might need stitches on his lips and I was scared, but he didn't because I think it was swollen. That's scary too. That's scary too, Latrice. I've taken, uh, again, the youngest crimson kid. I've I've taken him to the emergency room now several times where he, like, needed stitches or, you know, cut his head open or whatever. This kid. This kid's gonna give me a heart attack, man. All right. I already have some... What is this? I don't know. It's It's mango. I don't know. Mango G Fuel. Leftover from earlier. I, I already had busted some out. So we're drinking that. 
And we're gonna get right back into some more Baldur's Gate 3 tonight. We are at the Gauntlet of Shar. And we've got Shadowheart joining our team, joining our party. We're gonna try to get through that tonight and we'll see where the night takes us. Wednesday nights are always a little bit shorter stream because I, I have to get started earlier due to a meeting that I have. But we can still make some good progress. So... Maddie said, yes, if it's the 7 and 8, whoever wins goes straight to the playoffs. Whoever loses, we have to play again versus either the 9 or 10 seed. Okay. Is that is that how it was last year? Or is that a change from the play-ins last year? Sometimes I get college and NBA structure uh, a little confused on the play-ins as well. So it may be that that is how it was last year. Maddie said, one of Savannah's scariest moments was her at the hospital where I had an allergic reaction to orange juice back when we first met. That's scary. Did you know you had an orange juice allergy or did that just like pop up and you're like, oh my gosh, I got to go to the hospital. Yeah, after, after, my, after the Crimson Kid, like after my son went to the hospital, um... After he went to the hospital, like, with the breathing issue, I got an EpiPen, uh, for him, and he, we didn't, we never ended up using it or really needing it, so I, you know, at this point it's actually expired, so, and I think, you know, we got rid of it or whatever, so, I didn't renew it at this point. EpiPen's never a bad thing necessarily to have on hand, though. So I may, I may want to get another one, but I've never seen them have an issue again, so I guess I just didn't bother renewing it. Have four nice day. How's it going over on Twitch? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? And I feel like I've just got like, um, um, my main character has like a lot of weight. It'd be interesting to sort by weight. Never a dull moment. What weighs so much? The alchemy pouch weighs a lot. Oh, what's what's weighing so much? I don't I guess I'm carrying a lot of potions and things like that. Welcome back, Latrice. How's it going? Maddie said, no, that just randomly appeared, but I was in the waiting room because she had an appointment that instantly got me to see a doctor. Maddie said, that's how it always worked. Interesting. So. Because. I thought that the NBA hasn't even always had a, a, a play-in game. Didn't they, like, re somewhat recently add the whole play-in structure? I thought they've been, like, kind of vamping this whole thing for a while. What the heck is all that, Latrice? All that typing in the chat, that nonsense. Excuse me. All right. Where are we? We're at the Gauntlet of Shaw.
Well, let's go up here and loot this guy real quick, huh? Before my very eyes, the dark lady guided me here. She she wanted me to find this place. Did she? Is that who got us here? I figured it was something like that, Latrice. She said, oops, trying to wipe the keyboard because I spilled my soda. Don't ruin your keyboard, Latrice. All right, so here we are. More Baldur's Gate. We're more than 50 hours into this game, and we are... S oh, wait. Okay, that's a plaque. We're still going. Sure. I hope. Singer of eternal night. Protector of the lost and forgotten. Whatever comes, I'm ready. I must keep going. I hope that Dogpool's happy. All the hours we're putting into this game. Cross from light into darkness. Give your life to the shadows. I think I'd like to keep my life over here. Mystic Thurible. Stone door. Take a look. Dogpool says very happy. That's good. By the way, Crimson Knights, uh, been watching the Fallout series with the Crimson Wife, and I can't help it. Just like everybody else, it's making me want to play some Fallout. So I was like, you know what? I got Fallout 76 for free. Um, on PlayStation at some point. I don't know if it was one of the game of the months or whatever, but uh, I installed it. I downloaded and installed it on my PlayStation 5, and on Friday, I am planning to play some Fallout 76. I've never played it before, but I, I, I need to scratch this Fallout itch that this uh, Fallout show is giving me, all right? So we're gonna, for one stream, you know, we're just gonna take a little pause from Baldur's Gate and I just need to scratch the fallout itch. Then we'll go back. The, the thi Here's the one warning, though, is that I know it's going to happen. This Fallout 76 stream on Friday is going to give me an itch to go back and play a little bit of Starfield. So on Monday, we may end up playing some Starfield and like do some side quests and stuff. Then go back to Baldur's Gate. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I can't help it. Dogpool said that show is so good, and yeah, all the fallouts are on PS Plus. Well, I, and I don't know if you guys have seen, but um, Fallout 76, with the release of this new show, Fallout 76 is at its higher, highest concurrent Steam player count ever. That voice, it's the answer lies in darkness. It can't be. Vent. Disarm. Okay, well, let's just not step on it. How about that? Yeah, like, all of the... All of the Fallout games have, like... What? What the heck was that? In the wretched hells was that? Did you step on that, dude? The lady's path lies in darkness. Perhaps that is how I can proceed. What in the wretched hells is that? Trust no one. I don't trust anyone. Um, but anyway, what, what was I saying? All The player counts on all of the Fallout games have spiked. And yes, they timed their update for... Their next-gen update for PlayStation and... Uh, you know, Xbox very well obviously timed it up with the release of this show so that update's going to be coming out we'll have to check that out as well i gotta see if my old i don't know if my old saves are even transferred to the playstation 5 like or if i would have to start a new game if i have to start a new game like i'm probably not going to do that but if i could go back to my old saves i would consider that Really? Another trap? Alright. How many traps are there? Leah said, I have a question to ask. Have you ever thought about playing Dragon's Dogma 2? Um, 
it was on my radar, Leah, but uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 has not really gotten very good reception. Like, it's it actually doesn't have great reviews. So, I think I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass on Dragon's Dogma. Now, what does this do? Okay, so it seems to have released this whole thing. I don't know what we're doing. All right, let's see what this is. Silver necklace. Yes, we'll take it. Watch your back. Bulky door. Traps. How considerate. I'll just help myself. Welcome back again, Sabi. So, yeah, probably not going to play Dragon, Dragon's Dogma. Leah said, because some of my friends have been playing it, and it's a really good game. It's really interesting. That's just me seeing. Yeah, so, I mean, Dogpool's raising some of the... Some of the issues and concerns with the game i don't know i mean part of it is we just have so many games that we that i want to play like is dragon's dogma gonna bump those for me right now no the one game that i'm currently looking at that i'm still like ah should i i don't know should i get it should we check it out is uh what is this is Helldivers 2. What are we here? What will this do? Okay, so we're lowering these things. Should be easy. Um, I, I keep, I'm, I'm tempted by Helldivers 2. But I'm like, ah, do I want to drop $40 on that right now? I don't, I don't know. Dogpool said, Helldivers 2 is a lot of fun for a gas. For a gas. I'd be more inclined to play it. I think I was saying this before. I'd be more inclined to try Helldivers 2 if, uh, like, Citrine and Beaks would be interested. But I don't know that they... It's just not quite their type of game, I don't think. This is looking like something. All right, so let's come over here. I'm thinking this is uh, an area that we can kind of jump up or whatever. For freedom, for liberty, for democracy. So I'm considering it. I'm considering it. Second ambush. Oh, where? We get ambushed by. Oh my gosh! What is this? A cloaker? Boy, you shouldn't have even been trying this, boy can't reach the destination, so I guess we're going to have to more go for shooting. Critical miss.
close ranks. Go to the throat. Ignis! Oh, phantasm, huh? What? How many of these you get? Seriously, how many of these do you get? Let's see, examine this. So, Phantasm. Immune to a lot of things. <laughs> Including poison, I believe. Still breathing, despite everything. a little bit. Oh no, it moaned. can't reach the destination like knees high jump up here and freaking hit him <laughs> and again there we go that's that's what we need you know what i mean That seems not great. What is this? Frightened. She's frightened. Okay. Okay, but the cloaker's getting real messed up right now. I'm immobilized. That is silly. It did, look, these things just keep moaning. They just keep moaning. That's what they do. Alright, I figured that would be the case. Breathe deep. Weighed down by heavy armor. Raging won't grant extra damage. Resistance. Oh, okay. So gaping. I don't, I don't know. Read this message, Crimson. We got a message from somebody. I can't see who. Scroll of Cone of Cold. Make a flurry of frost. Crisp air and condensed snow crystals erupt from your hands. The Cone of Cold. I bet that'll fit in my pack. I bet it will. Let's see what the... Message is... Oh, there was a message that I forgot to read like a couple days ago from... Maddie. It was actually a while ago. Jack called his PS5 hot. Uh, and then, ah, like I always moan, ah, like I always moan at night. That's Sabi. All right. Should charge you extra for that. 
for that message. Thanks for that, Sabi. Why are you guys hanging out up here? What? Why is it saying, like, you can't get here? Jump! Like, what is going on with the movement in this game? Why is it being weird? Latrice said, that doesn't sound like moaning for a second. I heard a horse while they were moaning, but that sounds, um, what's it called? I forgot what I was going to say. A crooked touch. Yeah, Helldivers 2, I'm considering it. Again, we'll, we'll check out, for one stream, we'll check out Fallout 76 just to scratch that itch. Ultimately, I want to finish Baldur's Gate. I want to... Whoa, what's going on here? Like, giant mushrooms. Somebody's having themselves a feast. White mushroom. Don't mind if I do. Ultimately, I want to finish Baldur's Gate 3. I want to do Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. And I also want to do... I do like it down here. It's Final nice. Fantasy 14. This is a dedication to my goddess's power and dark beauty. Homie is not the first word that comes to mind. All different kinds of mushrooms and whatnot. Acorn Shruffle. Ooh. Unlocked Essence of Acorn Shruffle. Lots of water. I don't need a rotten carrot. Really. That's something I'm looking for here. A quick rummage. Chitter chitter. I should probably save, huh? Let's get a save in. We're 53 hours into the game right now, Crimson Knights. Sabi so said, Crimson, BG3 will take over the time you finish Elden Ring, which was over one year. It didn't take me a year to finish Elden Ring. I just, I played it and then I stopped playing it because I played other games. But once we like really committed to playing Elden Ring, you know, it still took a while, but we finished it in a decent amount of time. We've been playing Baldur's Gate a lot. Uh, we have definitely been playing Baldur's Gate a lot. But, we'll get through it. I feel like we're making good progress. Now, here's, here's a question for Dogpool, if he's still in here. Which is this. I see mixed things out there about how long Act 3 is versus Acts 1 and 2. Some people say that Act 3 is shorter than Acts 1 and 2. Other people are saying Act 3 is like as long as acts one and two combined that it's a lot longer so i don't know what to believe is act three like short or really long or is it just it's all just depends on how you play it all right this book says the handwriting's a hasty read this message crimson okay hasty lopsided scrawl about the pages are blocks of ink and what may be smudges of dry blood lady shaw continues to preserve me though escape is impossible the beast still prowls our halls though the sound of battle no longer reach my ears i fear all my brothers and sisters have fallen in defense of the night singer's sacred gauntlet but i shall wait the beast will not linger for long surely a shorter entry the handwriting even more skewed and erratic the beast still remains why does it not just leave and why does it sing the food's gone i must preserve my strength the final entry is barely legible. Mistress, embrace me, please. Dogpool said, it probably depends on how you play. I'm still on an act two, bro. You're a little farther than I. I'm playing Bioshock nowadays. Oh, I thought you beat this whole game, Dogpool. You, you, you haven't finished a playthrough? I thought you already finished the whole playthrough of this thing. Well, the tree says, Crimson, if Sabi redeems a message, please, for the love of God, don't read it. For humanity's sake, please. Let's see who. 
See who redeemed it. It's Sabi. It said, Crimson, it will take over one year, which contains how much you fail to. It won't take a year, Sabi. We're going to finish it. Dogpool said, I'm like 70 hours in. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm almost 70 hours in. If you include all the, like, kind of, you know, deaths and restarts and and all that kind of stuff. We're, we've put a lot of time into this game. The true, or like the uh, time just in this, in this actual save is like 53 hours, I think, is what we just saw. Did you already click this? Feed your bodies and rest your minds. Lady Shah needs her warriors strong and ready. All these rats are at Isn't the altar. Let's talk to the rats, I'll see what they have speak. to say. They say, hiss, hiss. Observe the rat's behavior. Perfect. Perfect. The rat holds its ground. It almost seems defiant. Sabi said, Crimson, I completed 280 hours in Dragon Ball Fighter Z game. That's a lot of time, man. That is crazy. You got 1.3 thousand views and 34 likes on your latest video about Dragon Ball Fighter Z game. Do you you kill it with those videos? You you found your audience. Hey, Core, how's it going, man? Said the ultimate enemy, rat. I'm not lying, man. I hate rats. All right, let's study the rat's appearance. Dogpool said, "Dude, Steam always has games I want on sale and I've never played before." What games are you looking at that are on sale right now, Dogpool? I know, there's some good sales going on at the moment. Ah, we failed. There's also sales going on in the Epic Games Store. And just as a reminder, if you do get anything in the Epic Games Store or Fortnite item shop, please use code MOON, M-U-N-E, at checkout or supporter creator code. We did it! The rat has a thick coat and dark, staring eyes. Old, but in good health. Back up, rat! Alright, extend a hand to the rat, show you mean no harm. Spiteful little lad. Hint of malice in its eyes, too. That's not normal, is it? Dally. I mean, I don't want to necessarily kill the talking rats, but I do want to loot this sarcophagus. Alter to Shar. See what happens here. Where'd the rats go? Offer prayer and devotion to the Dark Lady. Your prayers as only Shadowheart can do. Nothing comes to you in return. No soothing presence, no spiritual embrace. Only darkness and silence. Your efforts must be inadequate. You must do more to please Shah going forward. Kor said, um... Yeah, we're gonna play Valheim. See you guys later. All right, sounds good. Have a good one, Coral. Thanks for popping in and saying hi, man. Retreat said, that rat look ugly. Dogpool said, I got Bioshock Collection and Batman Collection for 10 each. Dude, the Bioshock series is really good. I gotta go back and finish Bioshock 2, I think is what we were playing. We didn't quite finish it. But we gotta go back and, but Bioshock Infinite was a really, I enjoyed that game a lot. But we got to go back and finish Bioshock 2. 
Silently swear your body and soul to Shar. Give yourself over entirely. Sabi said, I got Bioshock Collection for free from Epic. I think I got it free on uh, Epic as well as PlayStation. I think we were playing it on PlayStation, right? I'm pretty sure. So I think I somehow got it free on PlayStation. The faintest sensation of approval quickens your heart. A hard-won blessing from your mistress. Night Singer's Favor Gained. What does that do? Affected entity is resistant to necrotic damage until your next long rest. Okay. Cool. Onward. Onward and upward. Nothing seemed to happen. I don't think we've been here before. Your daughter. Come closer. Wait, what the heck is this? Reconstituted duelists, marksmen, and another marksman. All right, let's go see what the deal is with these guys. They'll probably try to kill me if uh, history has anything to say about it. You proud my battleground. Why? Are you friend? Foe? Thieving scavenger? All of those. We are all of those. You find yourself in a dead, putrid skull, somehow hosting a tadpole amongst a squirm of maggots. Another presence lurks within, manipulating the corpse like a puppet. Ah, a friend, an uninvited friend. I do not request help. Who am I really speaking to? Come join me and find out. I want to look at you with my own eyes. Pile of ogre afterbirth. <laughs> what do we got going on here? Oh, God. Cool armor, though. I'll take some of that off your hands. Commence battle. All right, let's dress. Merkel's fat laptop. Wait, so... I guess we're fighting this guy? Justicier Avenger? Radiant Vulnerability Necrotic Resistance. Why does it just keep saying, like, can't reach destination? Is that really true? Take two. Shall we cut and 
Sierra. Over here. Dang. Umbral Tremor, so okay. Can I attack this thing? Interesting. Okay. What is all that matters? So radiant vulnerability, poison immunity, psychic immunity, blah 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 blah. blah. All right. Constituted duelists down here. Sabi's giving some advice to Latrice. My advice to myself is I just gotta start making videos again. I haven't really been making videos, I've been streaming. I gotta get videos out, I gotta do social media again. There's just so much, so much to do. Bye bye. Oh, there's another Justicier over here. Oh, and this is Justice. Wait, what's going on? How did I miss these guys? Are, are people getting transformed or coming out of these things or what? Guiding bolt. Time to deal some punishment. Immediately dead. I can do any radiant damage from my main character here. Pretty solid hit. Beckoning darkness. Oh man, more. destroy these things man these umbral tremors got to get rid of them oh shoot they killed the reconstituted duelist huh of these good swift as my feet can carry me <laughs> all right 
That guy's dead, good. Ready for this. Almost got these tremors closed. There's a couple left. Yeah, I don't really want to provoke an attack of opportunity. Now, I think all of the portals are gone, are destroyed, so good. Oh, that guy died. Heal up Asterion. Absolutely destroyed that guy. Guy's right outside of my range, actually. Ah. Sabi said, uh, gonna be playing some Left 4 Dead 2 Crimson, so gotta be lurking. Sounds good, Sabi. Enjoy. Thanks for hanging out, as always, a bit. Aye, aye. Like what? Why is it saying I need to get like right in his face? I don't I don't understand. Yes. 
Let's kill this guy. Still didn't kill him. My luck again. Another step forward. I don't really want to use this though. All right, let's see if I can do this. Boom! Got him. Oh my gosh! There's a now what? Like a giant ogre? Oh, is this who we were talking to? Hey, Jeremiah, how's it going, my friend? How are things going? All right, let's do some looting. I wasn't sure if I had the key to that thing or what. Alright, pretty successful battle overall, I would say. Alright, let's come. Let's save and then let's go up there. Who's this guy? Ah, the interloper. And in one piece as well. Not just any true soul this is Balthazar. Who has succeeded in following my path through this place. You should be pleased. Who are you? You are a true soul. There is no excuse for you to not recognize your betters. But never mind. Your potential may outweigh your ignorance. I am Balthazar, chief advisor to General Thorne, and entrusted with a mission of utmost importance. Do you know what is at stake here? The name of Balthazar seems vaguely familiar, but from where? Alright, I needed all the help I could get here. It comes back to you. Balthazar headed a monastic order that controlled a place called Amkethran in the deserts of Kalimshan. But he is long dead from what you recall. He's seeming sort of alive. Balthazar. I heard of a monk by that name once. He died a long time ago. Oh, him. Yes, I decided to take his name for myself. After taking his rip bones. Suits me better. I think. But enough idle chatter. Keep to the matter at hand. You do know what's at stake here. Yes? Enlighten me. There is a relic here. One which General Thorn desires. No, needs. I will retrieve it for him. And you will help me. Ignorant you may be. You've shown some prowess in scouting and combat by making it this far. This necromancer has Catherick's trust. Helping him could be just what you need to gain access to the man himself. Hmm, how should I do this? I need more to go on. Why is this relic so important? What does it do?
Glad you're doing good, Jeremiah. I'm doing well, too. Having fun with some more Baldur's Gate 3. Enjoying myself here. Always nice to unwind at the end of the day with some video games and a good story, a good game like this. Fine, if it'll spare me your bleating. The relic lends the general his strength, his invulnerability. It must be recovered before his enemies attempt to exploit it. I think I'd rather exploit this relic after I've gotten rid of you. What do you think, Crimson Knights? Should I try to help him to like kind of manipulate the situation or should I just straight up kill him? What do you think? Any thoughts on that? Latrice said, help him. This guy's clearly evil though. I don't know why it's saying Rashad followed on Twitch. I know he already followed on Twitch a long time ago. Something, something's not working out with uh, Streamlabs here. All right, let's uh, let's do what Latrice is saying. Let's go get the relic, and then and then maybe we come back and kill him after we've gotten the relic. So. You need my help? I do not need you or your help. But you are here in spite of that, so I may as well make use of you. The relic is close, but the way is barred and Shah's dead are uncooperative. Clear the path for me by blade, cunning, or whatever it takes. I will remain here until you have succeeded or fallen. I trust this gas bag about as far as I can throw him, which isn't far. But perhaps better to play along for now. Exactly. Let's get the relic and then we'll we'll end him. Rashad said, it's weird. I definitely followed before, but it said I wasn't. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure you were, dude. So I don't know what's going on with uh, with Twitch and with Streamlabs. I don't know. Whatever. Well, thanks for following Rashad and, and hanging out over on Twitch. Um. I'm doing well. How are you doing, man? You're... I can't believe you're here right now, to be honest, Rashad. You got, like, uh, two more days, three more days. And then it's your wedding day, right? You got a lot going on right now, man. You have resources to spare. Give me something to aid my search. Rashad said, facts, I'm about to put together the music so I'll be lurking, but gotta listen to this shit. <laughs> Sounds good, Rashad. Good luck, thanks for hanging out and lurking and whatnot. Appreciate you, man. But good luck with putting together that playlist. I will assign flesh. Asterion and Shadowheart. Ring this bell, and he will come. Oh, interesting. So this guy's gonna My help us? My brother is no intellectual powerhouse. He doesn't strike me as a strong, intellectual powerhouse. and punctual. Should a fight turn against you, remember the bell. Take the bell. Flesh will remain here until called. But don't fear, he has very sharp hearing. I chose his ears myself. Now, it's like some real Frankenstein stuff going on here. Item received. Received. Summon Golem Bell. Now. All right. So I can't really steal from this guy. There's a dead pixie on the table. Bring me a, a broken moon lantern. Never, 
It's quite the bed up here. All right, I guess let's go find the night song, Crimson Knights. Uh, but yeah, again, uh, again, Jeremiah, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, hello. Simple. Enjoying this game, Baldur's Gate. Enjoying just relaxing and unwinding at the end of the day. Oh wow, we did it! Wow, we succeeded a 30 difficulty. That's not easy to do. Alright, so we opened the vault door. Awesome. Tread carefully. Um, this game, I th I don't know. I think this game is $70 new. Um, I don't know if there's any sales or anything like that. But I think it's a $70 game and it was fully gifted to us by Dogpool. So again, this this entire stream is essentially sponsored by Dogpool. Callus Glow Ring. The wear deals an additional two points of damage against creatures that are illuminated. Um, this is on Steam. Whoa, look at this. Infernal Iron. We got some more. I think you can also get it on PlayStation, can you? Actually, I don't know. Maybe you can't. Is this only on Steam? So where did I come from? Came from here, I think. Yes. So let's go down this way. Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying this game a lot. It was the game of the year last year. So it was last year's game of the year. It's a Dungeons and Dragons type of game with a kind of turn-based combat and rolling dice and all that kind of thing. Um, lots of different ways that the game can go. And yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. So highly recommend it. Definitely getting my money's worth. Well, not my money's worth. We're getting Dogpool's money's worth. Another little rat here. <laughs> Observe the rat's behavior. The rat holds its Sounds ground. good, Jeremiah. It almost seems defiant. I'm just gonna leave the rat alone. It's this is the same interaction we had before. Got a new ancient sigil circle here. Now, where does this go? Is a question. There's a hanging corpse. Well, well, someone's an artist. Got like an extra arm and whatnot. All right, here's the base of a lever. Insert item. That did nothing. All right, so if we found like a lever handle, we could then use that. Least expected. Dark veil precision. While obscured in shadow, the wielder has a plus 1d4 bonus to the ranged weapon attacks. Okay, so who could we give that to? Let's 
give it to Asterion. Why not? Uh, Fire Stoker deals an additional 1 to 4 piercing damage to burning targets. Seems good enough, all right. Let's keep exploring. Okay, so this is back over here, actually. All right, so now we've, we're, we've kind of gone in a giant circle at this point. This place just keeps on going. Unsurprisingly, another giant, giant area. What is this? Ancient altar. Alas, I have nothing to fill it with. So many must have toiled to make a visage so grand. It's beautiful. Onward, ever onward. Okay, so what happens if we go to this traversal gem? Can't use this right now. Okay, so we can't use this right now, she says. So... Let's go back this way. Another rat. The deal with these rats. What's the deal with rats? I mean, what's the deal with rats? Nothing of value comes. Her most vaunted treasure. My trials, and win my embrace. I shall prove myself worthy, Lady Shaw. I shall prove myself worthy, Lady Shaw. Welcome back, Leah. Hmm, let's see. Hmm, yes, let's. Yes, let's see. What disgusting things are in these giant vases? Bulky door. Soft step trial. Scroll of Invisibility. Now, is that random, or does it want us to use the Scroll of Invisibility? Worth a try. The bowl contains an ancient, rust-colored blood stain. It forms a neat disc, as if spilled calmly and willingly. You recognize this as a trial where initiates would prove themselves to Lady Shah. This one would put their skills of stealth and infiltration to the test. Okay. Offer your blood in Shah's name. Ah! those that can remain unseen and can still obtain what they want. Stealth is a virtue derived from her very essence. Okay. So... The question then becomes Cloak of Shadows. Become invisible if you are obscured. All right, let's do this. Toggle group mode. Unseen. Perfect. Black 
could also use some sort of, like, vision, right? Greased. Where am I trying to get to? I'm trying to get like way back here or something? It'd be nice if I could see this guy. Um, heavily obscured. So we all have this ability? I don't know. I'm just waiting. Like, I want Carthorn her to be the idle. one that, that can do this, though. Let anyone see. I could do Scroll of Invisibility. Ridiculous. Quiet as a mouse. No time to waste. Okay. Hey, welcome back, Jeremiah. How's it going, man? other one okay I got lucky there all right we made it through the Umbral Gem. Transpositional Flux. Umbral Transporter. Alright, 
let's actually go, go back and see if there's anything for us to loot here. see anything up here everybody's like BRB I'm back BRB I'm back BRB I'm back try. Lady Shar's words of guile to be unseen is to be welcomed everywhere <clears throat> words of wisdom nothing destroyed Sharon plaque Plaque that once bore the teachings of Lady Shah, but now unreadable. Words of daring. Also nothing, huh? A soft step is better than any armor. Seek no permission. Take all that benefits you. So we're back here. Cool, cool. I don't know if I already did this lever. This way. Standing torch. Orders from B. Pay close attention. Seek the means to access the relic. Search in the library. Do not deviate. Do not fail. Return promptly. B. Search in the library. All right. Remember that, Crimson Knights. The gauntlet of Shaw. The gauntlet of Shaw from where an army of dark justiciers shall rise and join battle against those who shun her embrace. I will succeed. Uh, Shadowheart, I am trying to read. Stop interrupting me, okay? It's said that the name of this most sacred of sites has two meanings. Firstly, it's a series of trials that Lady Shaw's initiates must surpass if they are to join her most vaunted ranks. Secondly, it represents the most martial facet of the Night Singer's embrace, the armored fist that shall crush her foes, but gently cradle those who serve her. Initiates cannot advance to Lady Shar's final tests until they have earned the rite of passage. Each trial shall yield an umbral gem. Each gem shall bring the victor closer to the Night Singer. Once the way is clear, the final sacrifice beckons, and spilled Selunite blood shall herald the rise of a new Jock Justicier. Worth a rummage? Her most hallowed mercy. Um, I'm feeling like I need to actually go back a little bit. Where am I trying to get to? I think where I'm trying to get to is over here. Can I go through this door? That's the question. That's the question. Can I go through this door? Mm 
it's kind of seeming like maybe no. Unless this lever will open it. There you go. And so it did. Now, I don't think I got an umbral gem from this, but maybe there is one here or what? Welcome, child. Follow my voice and prove your worth. Alright, so is there a gem here or no? I guess no? Nothing happens when I click that, so I don't know. All right, let's go over here. How delicious. We'll disarm this. Traps. How considerate. This is the most trap disarming we've done. Did I not? I guess I did not already do this. All right, so we're trying to lower these things. Um. Let's go disarm this. Let's pull this last lever. All right, so now we've lowered all these, but what was the point? Watch the shadows. Like, it seems like this still hasn't activated an umbral gem. waste let's go down here see what's down here so we haven't gone down here before oh there's a plaque on here the rain of night comes in a thousand falling leaves Chasm Creeper. Alright. I don't know. I mean, that's... That's what I got, I guess. So, go back this way. So now we've, like, pretty much fully explored this whole area as far as I know. We went in a giant sort of circle here. We did the soft step trial. Now, can I put a gem here?
Umbral Gem. Wait. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong at all. What's going on? Tell me. There's something more I need to do. Or the trials will have been in vain. There is a holy weapon hidden away. The Spear of Night. I have to claim it. Then use it to make a sacrifice in Lady Shah's inner sanctum. If I succeed, I'll become a dark justicia. All right, where is this spear? There's a library in this place somewhere. That's where I need to look. I gotta Without take this it, mask off her because she looks ridiculous. Will be in vain. And I won't be blessed as a dark justicia. You really want to go through with this? A blood sacrifice just to appease Shar? Don't worry. This place has been empty for years. The sacrifice can't be a simple mortal. More likely, it's a monster. And we're well versed in dealing with those, aren't we? We need to find that spear. The Chosen of Shah. All right, now. Can I make this like, okay, yeah, so I can do don't show helmet. So I'm just hiding her helmet. Maddie said one hour remaining. Uh. Correct. Oh, what is this? A displacer beast. Interesting. Okay. If I go over here, can I jump to the other side? There's always some guy that died under the rocks. gear. Alright, now... I want to use that bell. Who has the bell? Is it this? No, that's a moon lantern. I've got a broken moon lantern and a full moon lantern. Where's that bell? Did he hand it to Shadowheart? Who who was I playing with at that time? Oops. seen the bell where is it where is it hey sabi welcome back how's your gaming going
Where's the bell? I want to use the bell. Scratches ball. Ah, oh, there's Scratches ball. He was here this whole time. Also, I've got these soul coins. What are, what are you even using this for? Oh, here it is. Can I use it? All right, when it's when it's Crimson's turn, he'll try to use it. Heading out. Maragon. a lot of people. A lot of enemies here. Oh gosh. First of all, how dare you? Alright, let's look at Maragon, examine him. Poison immunity, cold resistance, fire immunity. again, Latrice. So I said, oh, my dear Maddie, if life were a buffet, you'd be the dish I'd keep coming back for seconds, thirds, and forever. Oh my gosh, dude. She's never gonna come back. like a starian. Okay. Can I use this bell? That's a question I have. Where is the bell? In this menu, I don't see it. So if I go to inventory, can I go down to the bell and use it from here? How do you use this? How do you use the bell, Crimson Knights? I want to use it. Can you not use it during battle or something? Let me see. What is this thing called? Use summon golem bell. Use the summon the construct flesh while in combat.
How do you how do you use this Crimson Knights? During combat. How do you use it during combat? This is so annoying. How do you do it? Use a freaking potion of feather fall because I accidentally clicked it. Wow, so this was just frustrating. I disconnected from chat. I need help. I'm trying to figure out how do you use the bell to summon this golem and no one's no one's helping me. So I'm trying to figure this out by myself. I don't know how to use this bell, dude. I want to use the bell to summon the golem, but I can't. I don't I don't know how. So, now I'm just like giving up. Fire immunity, cold resistance, and poison immunity. So I could do like a shatter type of thing. knows I don't know I'm trying to google it but I'm not like seeing anything quickly ticking mines Position. 
Displace a beast. Let's play. Sally said, Go to this link. I just don't know how you use this thing. You know what I mean? Appreciate you trying, Sabi, but yeah, it's not like really answering what I need here. What the heck just happened there? Displacer Beast. So, it displaced Asterion. Now he's dead. What the? Oh, those mines. The mines blew up. Okay. That could be a problem. Oh, no. I just kind of want to give up now. The whole bell thing, like, didn't work. Now everybody's just dead. I think the bell can only be used in Shar's Sanctum. Realistically, I think there's only one fight you can might want to use it on. A little bit of dud in general, but it makes sense for story reasons. Ugh. 
Like I'm in the gauntlet of Shar. That's what this whole area is, the gauntlet of Shar. And there's this bell that says summons Balthazar's flesh golem during combat. This item is only functional in the gauntlet of Shar. But I don't see a way to use it. I can't equip it as far as I can see. Add to hot bar. Now I added it to hot bar. Okay, so I had to specifically add it to the hot bar. All right, there we go. I think this is over though. I mean, now I know how to do it, but half my party's just dead dead. I think we're just gonna go to a checkpoint like this is over Fortunately well, That was like kind of a waste of 20 minutes me trying to figure out how the heck to use the stupid bell Oh well Oh, well. No time for Dally. Can't give up now. Why don't I see it on here? I don't know. On my way. Sabi said, holy moly, the new turbo overkill update is here. 1.35, I am updating now. So this is a level 10 fiend, which is no joke. Full immunity to fire, resistant to cold, and resistant to that. So let's see what we could do here. Shatter. Could do a big old shatter and try to get multiple guys involved here. Your gear not get hurt by that at all or Maragon. What the heck? Wait a second. So the only person who got hit wait None of them got hurt Alright, 
now they're hurt. Right, here we go, Crimson Knights. No surrender. me of like Lord of the Rings right now. Oh dang. The giant guy can go invisible. This thing has a displacer beast has a little nest. He really likes turning out the lights for some reason. That guy's dead. It's kind of a long battle. Okay, so what is this? Wounding Ray. This is necrotic. did not do much. I like how they're all kind of just lining up for me. If I could get a nice big AoE attack on them. Is this not adding to the list? Like... Oh my god, I don't... I don't understand. What is she? She's threatened and prone. Now we've got some ticking mines. Bye-bye, Maragon. King of the Arachnids. I'm trying, Sabi. Excuse me.
Makes sense. We did all that so that we could get over there and just miss. Oh, dang. These guys are no joke, man. Basically missed again. So is Gollum going to like do any damage to anybody or is he just going to be a giant sponge? Fire doesn't hurt these guys anyway, does it? So we blew up all the mines. This placer beast is mostly dead, I guess. Now it's fully dead. Gosh, they just got a critical hit on her. On poor old Shadow Hot. Welcome back, dog pool. I gotta heal myself. I'm trying to survive this battle, but this is actually a pretty significant battle. This ain't easy. Okay, he's dead. Poor Gollum is more than half dead. Let's see, what can we do? Call lightning. Are we lightning these guys right here? Oh my gosh, dude. I called in this golem and he misses? What is the point of you? Whew. 
she missed half her attacks? Like, what is going on here? I forgot this giant guy's here. Just goes back invisible. My god. Like, this golem is gonna die and like basically contribute nothing to this this battle other than just being a damage sponge come on bro get in the game Divine strike of poison. What's this? Shocking grasp. Uh, what should I do here? Let's. I don't know. Let's just heal her. Let's heal Carlac again. Carlac's the only one really doing any any damage around here. Asterion's over there just dying. Like, look. Freaking Golem's gonna die. How did these guys get so many attacks? What? That missed. Awesome. Golem's gonna die here. Like missing half of her attacks here. Makes sense, dude. again Gollum is dead I'm dead all right <laughs> okay That's enough of that. Dogpool said, I feel this game's mostly luck. Your attacks are unlucky right now, man. Today I was at 88% and failed. Next time I was at 40 and boom. I'm done for the night. I am. I mean, we just spent like 45 minutes or something on this one battle and I got wiped twice. So I was just like, all right, I, I'm. We'll come back, you know, fresh later. But uh, that's that's enough for tonight. This game is is super long, <laughs> like Gauntlet of Shar. We we've spent more than two hours now on it. It's another just giant area that we're trying to work our way through and all of this it's not like it's not exactly side stuff but it's kind of side stuff you know i haven't even gotten to the end of act two yet i haven't even actually gotten to Kethric thorm 
So we're doing like a whole side thing, sub thing to get to him to try to finish act two. And then I have no idea how long act three is going to be. Dogpool said, Crimson, are you even enjoying the game? I am. I mean, overall, I'm enjoying it. It's just, um... Like, I'm, I'm not mad or anything, but it's just, you know... I, it's 20 minutes until midnight, at which point I'd be going to bed anyway. So it's just like, you know, I want to make that a stopping point for tonight. I, I, think, I think the issue I have is just when... You know. I mean, if you think about it, like, we've been playing Baldur's Gate relatively exclusively for, like, almost four months now. Like, three and a half to four months. So it's just like, you know. That's, uh, that's a lot of time. When do we start playing this? We did our first play back on December 18th, 2023. Uh, but then we didn't really start playing it until the new year. Actually, I guess we didn't really start playing it until February. So we've been playing this for coming up on three months now. In earnest, because we we finished Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Anyway, it's just like you know. It's not gonna take a year to complete the game. Like we're gonna finish the game. It just might be another month or something like that. I don't I don't know how long it's gonna take. Uh, but yeah, overall I'm enjoying it, and uh, I feel like we're getting better at it. We're we're getting more powerful. It's a grind. Uh, and I, I like the story. I'm, I'm very interested to see where the whole story ends, what kind of ending we get. So I'm invested, you know. I mean, you could definitely see how this game won game of the year. It's a different kind of game, you know, this like kind of turn-based, you know, overhead party D&D style game. It's it's a bit different from the kind of games that we're usually playing, but it's still got something of something of an open world feel to it. Um, a lot of exploration, a lot of great voice acting and side quests and whatnot, good character development. So, I, uh, you know, you can definitely your, your choices affect a lot of things. There's a lot of luck involved, like even your choices, you make certain choices, it may not even happen depending on what kind of role you get. And in general, the way that I've been playing has been like, you know, obviously if my squad gets wiped and we have to start over, then like fine, I've been doing that. But uh, I've mostly been accepting the roles that I get. It's like, if that role didn't go the way I wanted, that's life, you know, we're, we're just gonna, I made a choice, I got a role, we're moving forward with it, and just seeing how that all works out. So anyway, no, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the game, um, having a lot of fun, excited to get through it and want to see, like, what happens, you know, how this all, how this all unfolds, but I guess it's just crazy, because I keep thinking, like, oh, like, we're about to finish Act 2, and then it's like, oh my gosh, no, like, we just found a whole other completely giant area <laughs> that we're now exploring. And so it's like, wow, like I keep thinking we're getting to a spot where we're going to like progress forward in a certain way. And then it's like, actually, no, you're going in this whole direction. So that just keeps kind of surprising me how large this game really is. I did not appreciate how big this game was when we started, but now I'm really starting to see like, wow, this, this game 
has a massive map. So I said, Crimson, what do you think? You'll be able to finish this game in this year or it'll take you past 2024. We're, we're going to finish this game in like the next month. I think we should finish this game by mid to we'll see. We might finish this game by mid-May. I mean, again, I, I don't really know, but, you know, we'll finish Act 2 in the next week or so, probably. I would guess. Like, we're, we're definitely getting close here. And then once we finish Baldur's Gate, whenever that is, in the next month, month or two, then we'll switch into Final Fantasy mode. So, that's the plan. Anyways, thank you everybody for joining the stream. Thanks for liking the video, being subscribed, or joining the channel. Thanks for following over on Twitch. Special shout out to Have for Nice Day, first time chatter over on Twitch, and Rashad Balash. Thank you for following over on Twitch. Appreciate everybody. Um, like I said, we'll be back on Friday, and my plan for Friday is that we're going to pause on Baldur's Gate a little bit and just uh, check out Fallout 76. Just to scratch that little itch induced by the new Prime Fallout show. But thanks for joining, everybody. Have a good second half of your week, and I will see you on Friday night for some Fallout. Bye, guys.